In the election on the 5th of May, only one party demands a Scottish Parliament that has real power and control over the Scottish economy. A party able to deal with all the economic, social and political issues that face the Scottish people. Only the Socialist Labour Party demands a Scottish Parliament that is free from the dead hand of Westminster and free from the unelected and unaccountable European Union in Brussels. The Socialist Labour Party is standing candidates in every region because we believe that Scotland desperately needs socialist policies and not the public spending cuts and free market policies of New Labour, the SNP, Tories, Lib Dems and other parties. The Socialist Labour Party has and will campaign for a strong Scottish economy based on the re-establishment of the coal, steel, shipbuilding and engineering industries all of which have been decimated by the policies of UK government, the European Union and the free market, which will preserve and protect those industries in the interests of the Scottish people. Our party will campaign to take those industries that have been privatised by consecutive UK governments back into public and municipal ownership. We want an end to the obscenity of private health schemes. Scotland needs a national health service upon demand at the time of need and completely free of charge. Scotland also needs a housing programme that provides good quality housing available to all, either owner-occupied or built and maintained by local authorities. Our party would campaign for a publicly owned transport system, particularly our railways, democratically accountable to the people of Scotland. Above all, a transport system which meets the needs of people and not the profits of shareholders and private companies. Since 1979, pensions have been eroded by over 40%. To re-establish the level of pensions requires an increase of £41 per week for a single person and £65 for a couple. The Socialist Labour Party wants a clean environment, free from pollution and nuclear contamination. This can be done using indigenous clean coal technology alongside wind, wave and other forms of renewable energy. By transferring goods and services to a publicly owned rail system, we can reduce the thousands of juggernauts on our roads which pollute the atmosphere. We have costed our policies and can prove that we can afford all of them, including full employment, a decent health service, education system and pensions that will allow people to live in comfort and dignity. Successive UK governments have to date spent billions on wars around the world which has cost the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. The Tory Lib Dem coalition government now proposes to spend at least £30 billion on a Trident nuclear missile system. That money could and should be used to help the people of Scotland, particularly the pensioners, the young suffering record levels of unemployment and the homeless. It should be used to improve the quality of life rather than destroy it. In this election, the people of Scotland have got to make a choice. A vote of just over 5% will see Socialist Labour MSPs elected that would make a real difference to outcomes in the next Parliament. A vote for Socialist Labour is a vote for Scotland and, above all, is a vote for Socialism. I urge you to vote for the Socialist Labour Party on the 5th of May. For more information or to join the Socialist Labour Party, please visit www.socialist-labour-party.org.uk or call 01294 829 688.